CCTV White House correspondent Jessica Stone joins us now with the details on today's events. Jessica. And inside that room where the president made the speech on end, an atmosphere of anticipation as well as visibly tight security. The president spending much of his speech defending the very programs he was about to announce reforms for. In the audience, a number of members of Congress involved in congressional oversight of these programs as well as a number of members of the foreign media. We are expected to protect the American people. After that months of study and speculation, U.S. President Barack Obama announced his changes to the American spying programs that have strained diplomatic relationships and caused worry for everyday Americans. First, the U.S. will curb but still collect telephone and email data. It will have 60 days to find a third party to store that data. And starting Friday, any search of the data will have to be approved by a judge. I have directed the Attorney General to work with the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Court so that during this transition period, the database can be queried only after a judicial finding or in the case of a true emergency. The president's Very critics lucky. pounced, including uh, WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange. And unfortunately, today we also see uh, very few concrete reforms. What we see is kicking off the ball uh, into the congressional grass, kicking it off into panels of lawyers that he will report, report uh, that he will instruct to report back at some stage in the future. I don't think it should be stored at all. I know the telecoms have all pushed back at the idea that they should have to store it. Right now, American investigators from a variety of agencies can query those databases of telephone numbers and email addresses with permission from a supervisor. Will getting court authorization slow down or obstruct their investigations? James Lewis is a cybersecurity expert and former U.S. Foreign Service officer. So this is going to slow down the process. It might be instead of taking three hours, maybe it'll take six. But we're looking at a process where we've traded away some of the speed we had before for counterterrorism for greater protection of civil liberties. On the diplomatic front, Obama will end American surveillance of phones belonging to world leaders. Last year, revelations surfaced of Americans spying on leaders in Brazil, Mexico and Germany. Senior administration officials say the U.S. will no longer monitor, quote, dozens of heads of state. Unless there is a compelling national security purpose, we will not monitor the communications of heads of state and government of our close friends and allies. And a wave of reaction coming from Europe to the president's speech, including German Chancellor Angela Merkel's spokesperson, who says that Germany will be reviewing the reforms that Obama proposes, as, and in addition says that German law, quote, should still be respected on German soil. We're also getting a statement from Claude Murray, a European parliamentary member who led the investigation on the impact of these programs on European citizens. His statement reads, quote, we need the U.S. authorities to put an end to current discrimination whereby European citizens have lower levels of privacy rights than U.S. citizens, including ensuring privacy protection in U.S. courts. It would have been good to have a more reassuring message on these issues with more clarity on future reform. Anand? Thanks, Jessica. Jessica Stone there at the White House.